actor, model and entrepreneur Sashi Naidu is the kind of person who you could put into virtually any situation and she'd find an opportunity to turn it into something positive. Michelle caught up with Sashi to find out what she's been up to and what triggers that spark of inspiration. With heart-stopping looks and a bombshell personality, Shashi Naidu has the kind of presence that captures attention and turns heads. She's also got the ambition and business acumen to turn a dream into a commercial enterprise. And like most successful entrepreneurs, she's focusing on a field she knows well, specializing in the art and science of beauty. With an already packed schedule that includes modeling, acting, presenting and her MC duties, Sashi Naidu is expanding her business empire. She's invited us along to experience her latest venture. And what I really want to find out is, how does she fit it all in? Let's go find out. Without being obtrusive, Shashi takes a personal interest in the service and experience that she offers her clients. Sashi, hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thank you. And welcome back to Mela. Thank you and welcome to my store. It is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. You wear so many different hats. What inspired your latest venture? Being in the aesthetic industry and owning a laser clinic is actually something I wanted to do for a long, long time. I think about 10 years. And it was after I went for my very first laser treatment myself. And I was like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. The results were fantastic. And I knew it was kind of the way of the future. But not all dreams uh, happen within a short period. It took a lot of saving. I'm very scared of finance. So I decided to save up all the money I needed to open the clinic and for the machines and everything you see around you. So that took about 10 years. South Africa and the world effectively was introduced to you as a model. How did that come about? My big break was as a model, but was not meant to be a model. I was in the wrong place at the right time, got discovered and then decided, okay, I was going to give that a go. And modeling went really well for me. I got to travel the world, I made a lot of money. And then I decided to put that to good use. I saw a niche within the industry that I was in, and I decided to open my own agency. And that was a great success, and I'm so happy every day that I did that. Well, what I definitely want to experience more is your boutique. <gasps> I would love to show you. Please Come do. with me. Traditionally, women are seen to be the primary market of the personal aesthetics industry. But there's a steadily growing number of men among the clinic's clientele. It's beautiful. It's great. <laughs> now, the boutique offers non-invasive beauty treatments. What is non-invasive? So basically, non-invasive means not undergoing the knife. We offer treatments like Botox and fillers, which a lot of people are used to and know how effective they are. But also a lot of our uh, treatments that we offer are laser-based, so a technology-driven facial, for example. So many people are under the impression that it's so much more expensive than a normal facial. It really isn't. It's about the same price, but so much more effective. And it's something that you need to go for for a regular basis because you can slow down the signs of aging. You can't stop them completely. What are some of the most popular beauty trends for women and men? The popular treatments for males and females are actually the same. You know, aside from permanent makeup and all of that, men want to now have uh, beautiful smooth legs. A lot of men come in for laser hair removal on their shave line. So if you suffer from ingrown hairs on your neck or just don't like hair on your shave line, a lot of men come for that. Um, chest, back. So those are very popular treatments with men and then the facials, both men and women. The combination of cutting edge technology, service excellence and a welcoming personal touch has proved to be an award winning formula. Congratulations are in order less than a year and you are already winning awards. Thank you so much. Yes, we just won Aesthetic Spa of the Year. It was such an unbelievable honor. You know, you put in so much hard work, myself, my team. So to be acknowledged in that way, this was amazing. It's been almost a decade since the cover girl days, but Shashi continues to project the kind of beauty that is a fashion photographer's dream. Everybody at home is saying, ask her what is her beauty secret? What is your beauty secret? I'm turning 37 now, and for me, it was really, really important to hold on to my youth for as long as I could, because I wanted longevity in this career that I love so much, in an industry that I love. So it was important for me, and I discovered laser quite early, and so I would really, promote and endorse using laser and I think diet's also critical. I avoid sugar as far as I can. I'm a 
chocolate addict, so it's very difficult for me. It's aging, stay away from it. As a successful businesswoman, do you have any mentors that you look up to? I once read that you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. And it really struck home to me. And from that time, I've not associated with what we know as energy vampires. I keep them as far away as possible and really choose to surround myself with people who motivate me, whether it be spiritually, intellectually, you know, people that can inspire me to be a better me. What I'm really curious about is how do you do it all? You know, I don't think you can. I think this misconception of women can have it all. It's not true. You know, at the end of the day, something's got to give. You have to decide what is important to you and cho you choose that and you make sacrifices. There are things that are going to be sacrificed at the expense of other things. I think there are a lot of tired women out there trying to do it all and be it all. But you know, I, like I, I think when I do choose to have a family and I put it on the back burner for quite a long time, my career always came first. But at that point, I will have to sacrifice a lot of what I do now for my family. So I don't think there's any such thing as having it all, doing it all, but we try our best. <laughs>